Well, this morning, concern is growing about a danger in the water in Lake Erie. Yeah, massive algae bloom now covering part of the lake. That bloom growing in size. It contains a hazardous toxin. And this news coming as this weekend marks the fifth anniversary of the poisonous algae bloom that sparked a drinking water crisis in Monroe. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live at our studios back at Broadcast House. And Matt, scientists are pretty concerned about this. Yeah, and you can see why. This is straight from Lake Erie. This extends 50 miles. I don't know how close you can see, but you don't want any part of it. You might be asking, what is in this jar? Well, toxins that can make you and your pets sick, and it sits in an important spot where some boat, some fish, and many of you get your drinking water. It is a serene sound, water lapping up on beaches. That and fish draw guys like Mike McKee, but it's what's growing too close to home that's causing concern. In the distance, it'll be like a bluish color. And when you look closer this way, it's green. He's talking about the harmful algal bloom. It's back. This week, I hopped on a research boat with folks from Limnotech. Behind the wheel, Eddie Verhain. While he and Kellen Smith head closer to a water intake that feeds hundreds of thousands of people, you start to see the problem. Up close, it looks unreal. This algae stretches nearly 20 feet down. This isn't too bad. This really isn't as bad as it gets. You heard it. This isn't the worst of it. It's a slow moving tornado that comes every year that ravages the lake. You know, in terms of the United States, uh, this is the largest environmental uh, disaster right now. You look in the distance, not a boat in sight. And the birds, few and far between. But getting back to the water, the concern is it costs a lot to get clean, safe drinking water from this. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely more expensive. Inside the Monroe water treatment plant, we saw how they get rid of toxins. You see, as we learn more about the challenges and how to fix them, it all costs more money to make sure what comes out of your tap is safe. Which, you know, requires uh, treatment plants to constantly upgrade. They certainly are a challenge. Oh. Which is why research to stay ahead is important. Today, they're doing maintenance on buoys with sensors that track the issue, reminding us that a fix is needed because while we learn to work around this. This will probably be one of the worst years, I'm guessing. Scientists say we need to do more. Even if you don't live right on the water or nearby it, if that water isn't coming from Lake Erie out of your tap, the reality is, is your tax dollars have to help fix this problem because state dollars go towards all this. Not to mention we're losing money because multi-millions of dollars are lost every single year because tourism isn't happening due to that bright green nastiness you're seeing on Lake Erie right now. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith.